Here are five dealer fees you should never pay for. Listen to me. I sold cars for 43 years, so I know what I'm talking about. Let's jump right in. Pops, five car dealer fees you should never pay for. The first one here, we've got various fees, various fees that you should not pay for. Let's break down what we're looking at. Vehicle selling price, vehicle MSRP, dealer installed accessories of $3,400 and $1. We got some arrows pointing at the total appearance protection and ceramic window tint ad. Are these fees I should just, you know, roll over and say, okay, I guess I wanted them? Uh, well, I think first you should ask whether or not you really wanted them or if they have any value to you. You need to know what goes into the total appearance package, um, and then you need to know what goes into the ceramic window tint. And did you want any of this stuff? And if you didn't, then you need to get them to either take it off or negotiate a much lower price. Because in dealer installed accessories, I can tell you after 43 years, the profit margin built into those is astronomical. So dealers add accessories. This is one of those fees that dealers will add because it's extra profit on a car deal. Used to sell cars in Arizona. Dad used to share the story with me of desert packages, adding desert packages to cars, just a profit center. I mean, there's some value in the products. Like Tint has some value to someone somewhere, but not at $745 or at 2,577. So you either negotiate them off or you negotiate them down, correct? Yes. Yes. Off or discount. Off or discount. Now, another example on this same worksheet, Dad, is the guaranteed auto protection. So this dealership on this price sheet is showing you, hey, if you want gap insurance, uh, gap insurance, guaranteed asset protection, it's going to cost $1,050. You do not have to just roll over and say, okay, I'm taking gap insurance. You can shop that at home with your uh, auto insurance provider, with a credit union. There are various places you can get guaranteed asset protection insurance, or you can negotiate it with the dealer, or you can get rid of it altogether, correct? Or you need to find out if that really is guaranteed asset protection. If gap insurance, as we know it, that could be guaranteed auto protection might be some type of uh, tracking system or low jack system. So you need to ask exactly what is guaranteed auto protection and what does it do? We've got another example here, Dad. This is on a used 2019 Toyota 4Runner. This dealer is adding a $1,999 price safety and security package. This is another example of like an accessory or a package being added on. And we don't even have the red arrow pointing to the title service fee of $699. That's another car dealer fee that you need to understand before you agree to pay for. Let's break down both of these, Pops. $2,000 for price, safety, and security package. You can negotiate that. You can get it off, correct? Uh, absolutely. And once again, the first question, what, what is it? What is price safety? I, I know I've always wanted a safe price, but what does that mean? Price safety and security package. Um, I, I get the security package part of it. Maybe that's a, a tracking system of some kind, a theft deterrent system of some kind. But what exactly are we talking about here for $2,000? Then the title service fee, Dad, for $699. That's a dock fee in hiding. And this is a perfect time to also call out the non-tax fees for $190.03 versus the taxable fees, which are $169. There are fees that are taxed. That means you can negotiate them. Anything that is taxable is negotiable. So literally everything on this worksheet, except for the tax and the non-tax fees, are negotiable. So like the whole list, obviously the selling price of the vehicle is negotiable. The $2,000 for the price, safety, and security package is negotiable. The taxable fees of $169, which I guess is the dock fee, but then they also have a title service fee, which is also kind of a dock fee for $699. All of those fees are negotiable, and you should know that because they are taxed. If it's taxable, it's negotiable. Yep, I'm wearing the wrong sweatshirt today. I should have been wearing, if it's taxable, it's negotiable sweatshirt. But alas, just remember the out-the-door price as well. <laughs> Car Edge Insights, your toolkit to get the best deal on your next car is 25% off between now and December 2nd. Go to caredge.com slash insights to learn more. All right, Dad, let's look at another example here. We've got Nitro Capital 3M Protection Triton Car Care System Top Spray and Bed Liner, an admin fee of $799. This is a heck of a worksheet here, and there are all sorts of fees and add-ons that as a customer, it's becoming a recurring theme in this video already. You can either say, I don't want them, take them off. 
I don't want them and I want you to lower the price <laughs> or go find another dealer who's not adding add-ons and accessories to a vehicle, correct? Absolutely. I mean, Nitro for $199. Um, it's just all these fees are absolutely crazy and every one of them is massively marked up. You need to either negotiate them off entirely or negotiate a huge discount on them if they force you to take them. And if you don't feel comfortable with them forcing you to take them, go find a dealer that doesn't do it, okay? There's nothing that says you must buy these things. You have, you have the power with the, with the strongest two-letter word, no. Just say no. We have various videos here, role play videos, skits that show you how to negotiate. And I want to be very clear. You will hear a salesperson or a sales manager say things along the lines of, well, we put that on all of our vehicles so we can't take it off for you. There's all sorts of uh, objection handling that the dealership is trained on. But you as a customer can also be informed of what those things are going to be. Go watch some of our other videos in the Car Edge vault or just go take deal school, caredge.com slash deal school to learn more about how to negotiate. But please do not fall prey to the dealer just saying, no, we do this to everything. You have to buy it. You do not have to buy it. And again, if it's taxable, it's negotiable. We've got another example here, dad, I'll call out two fees on this one. You got the protection package for three grand recurring theme already at this point, ask what it is, negotiate down the price or walk away government fees for $296. Those are going to be, those are going to be your non-tax fees. We can't negotiate those, but the processing slash doc fee for $899. Let's talk about that. Dad, the doc fee shows up on every car dealer worksheet and most dealers will not take it off of the worksheet. However, you can try and negotiate the out the door price the total selling price with all the fees down by the amount of the dock fee, right? So a yes. little bit of confusion sometimes for, for customers here, the dock fee and the processing fee in this case, 900 bucks is not going to go away, but you can try and get $900 off of, in this case, the selling price, correct? Exactly. Uh, they are going to show the processing fee on every deal that they do. Okay. And the reason for that is if they take it off for you, then it means they, they could have taken it off for everybody else. Now, why did they take it off for you? Was it, was it discriminating against others if you wouldn't take it off for them? So they'll always make sure that's on the deal and it'll reflect on the deal. What you can do is you can always try to negotiate a, a downward push on the price by the exact amount of the dock or processing fee. So if they're selling the car for $34,245, get them to take another $900 off the selling price, and that will compensate for the $899 that you have to pay in the in the processing fee. Got another one here for you, Pops. We've got a dealer services fee of $999, and we've got an electronic filing fee of $598. We see this pretty often on used vehicles where dealers charge some sort of service fee, prep fee, vehicle you know, inspection fee. This $1,000 fee, then the, the $598 in this case, the electronic filing fee, it's just the dock fee. These are two fees in conjunction that make up a ton of profit for the dealership because there's no cost against them and they are negotiable. So this is another kind of fake fee that, that customers need to watch out for. Any type of prep services, inspection fees, that's all BS. That's all, uh, honestly, it's a red flag for a group that or a dealership you might not want to do business with. Oh, absolutely. I mean, most of these fees are just made up. They're, they're just additional profit centers for the dealerships. Um, you need need to be able to recognize them. And, and once you do, you need to be able to negotiate them. I mean, they might not take them off completely, uh, but maybe they'll, they'll take half off or whatever. Um, but there's profit built into the dealer services fee and the electronic filing fee. I, I don't think states charge uh, $600 to electronically file the paperwork needed to get your ta your title and registration work done. And I will mention, Dad, we have a great blog post back at caredge.com. We'll link to that down in the description or just Google search car dealer fees space car edge and it'll pop right up. We have a list of over 100 add-ons, accessories, and fees broken down by category back on the Car Edge website. So you should not be surprised by anything you see at the dealership. We literally have listed it all out for you right back there on caredge.com. And a friendly reminder, you're going to have to negotiate these things. Okay. Dealers put these on because most customers don't negotiate them and then they just made extra money. So you have to be comfortable and excited about the idea of going, going to battle a little bit, or if you don't want to, obviously we offer a concierge car buying service and we do it for you, but 
These are the fees you should never pay for and you should absolutely be aware of before you step foot in a dealership. Absolutely. That's the, that's, that's the type of stuff you need to know before you get in there.